and the players going through their game preparation, making sure they're fully warmed up for the tip. It's NBA basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. And a look now at the Hornets' upcoming schedule. On Saturday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Then on Wednesday, they'll host the Toronto Raptors. And looking at the Boston matchup, that one will mark game number six for them in the NBA season. We'll see if there are any adjustments between now and then to the rotation. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. Ball runs point with Martin out on the wing. Up and forward, it's Miller and Bridges. And it's Williams at the center. And for Atlanta, Bogdanovich on the wing. He's paired with Riza Shea. The pairing up front, Johnson and Capella. And it's Young in at the point guard. How important, Greg, is it to a team's confidence to start the season strong? Kevin, I think it means more if you're a young team. If your roster is filled with veterans, you're looking at the bigger picture. Now, here is Miller. Shot clock at six. Count that one. Now, how about this move by Miller, using the pick and roll to create some space for himself? Young with the ball. And it's Martin picking him up. Young against Bridges. Pass to Capella. Here's Young. Sinks that one from the post. Oh, crafty move there by Young. Finessing his way around the contact. Young against Ball. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. One thing about LaMelo Ball, he can really take over at times, Greg, when he's healthy and playing well. And a lot of that is just his feel for the game. He processes quickly and then has the talent to execute. It's pretty hard to stop him when he's in the flow. LaMelo Ball came in like a storm into this NBA, Doris, but hasn't been able to stay healthy since. It's so true, Kevin, and that's unfortunate because the skill is apparent every time he plays. He's a game changer with his size and his playmaking. The NBA is better off because of the flair and the style he brings when he is healthy. Now, here is Young. Turned in an outstanding game against Brooklyn. That shot misses. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Here's Bridges. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. I tell you, no secret that Miles Bridges at his best when finishing at the cup. Inside, here's Reza Shane. Nails the baby hook. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Hornets have gone two or three here to start off the game. Ball, the pass to Williams. Now, here is Martin. Miller kicks to Bridges. Williams sets a screen for Bridges. Rebounded by Capella. Last game for the Charlotte Hornets. It was a loss to the Rockets. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Yep, it counts. If you leave a teammate of LaMelo Ball that wide open, I promise you he will find him. Young inside. He's covered by Ball. The Hornets have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. And Ball slams it in. Yeah, you can see the impressive vertical of LaMelo. This guy gets to the cup and slams it home. Pass to Reza Shea. Johnson finds Young, takes a three. Again, Young missing. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Ball with the bucket. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. And timeout is called by Quinn Snyder. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. Hunter's checked in for Johnson. 
Williams, he's checked in for the Hornets. Let's take a moment to look at the 2K leaderboard and see last year's high-scoring teams. Number five, the Hawks. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. The Hawks trail by six. Young inside. He's covered by ball. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Left side, Miller. Over in the corner, Williams. Five on the clock. Misses the three. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. And with this era of the Atlanta Hawks, Greg, they've gone as far as their defense has let them. You look back at their conference finals run in 21, that was the last time they had a top 10 defense. So scoring's never been the issue with this core, but defense has been non-existent. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Here's Bogdanovich. And the rebound goes to Martin. Hornets leading by four. Pass the ball beyond the arc and he's good on the three ball balls got nine points the Hawks have gone four of ten shooting the ball here in the first quarter Reza Shea and the basket is good and he's got a chance here for one more at the line I like the movement from the rookie Zachary Reza Shea and let's get your take guys on the scoring breakdown for Charlotte so far they've moved the ball well leading to open high percentage looks lots of assists in this one yeah and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful they're really making it hard for the interior defense and there's that athleticism man does ball get up fast for that one and stolen by Miller and while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, thanks. I asked Quinn Snyder what he enjoys most about coaching, and the Hawks coach said the opportunity to compete in such an intense way. Also, the tactics of the game and the intellectual part of player development. It's rewarding to see and have a part in someone's growth and improvement. Kevin? David, that's coaching, right? Growth and development. A mind for the game, for sure. I've always respected Coach Snyder. To the paint, here's Reza Shea. Off with the layup. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Williams gets the bucket. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And we'll have a timeout called by Quinn Snyder. He's ready to talk things through with the team. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Nick Richards. He... Pass for Williams. Ball with a wide open look. And a miss there on the triple. Well, it was the Hawks winning their last game against the Nets. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. Young and Bogdanovich are the guards. Hunter is out there with Reza Shea. And it's Capella in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Ball, the pass to Martin. Back to Ball. And the Hornets miss again. Atlanta's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. And joining us now by phone is insider Shams Charania with some news. Shams, give it to us. Well, guys, in a year with no consensus number one overall pick, Zachary Rissache out of France, maybe not a surefire star, but certainly a player with a lot of talent, a three and deep prospect with the prototype length and size. The Hawks saw him as a plug and play addition to their roster. He should be making an instant impact, guys. Absolutely. All right, Chams, thanks a lot. Young from outside, and the rebound goes to Martin. The Hornets shooting at a decent 44% clip here. 
Nice move. And finished off by Martin. Oh, you got a feel for a guy getting dunked on like that. I mean, he's got no shot to stop that unless maybe he can pick up another foot somewhere. Ball against Young. Hunter, the pass to Young. Five to shoot. In the corner, it's Hunter. No good on the three. Charlotte shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. There's Ball with the three. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And they may be leaning a little too heavily on the three-pointer when, when there are better looks to be had inside. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Here's Capella. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Nice move. He stepped back and cast it up. Ball's got five points now in the quarter. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Tipped away. Williams with the steal. Down low. And it's Williams finishing it off. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by the Hornets. Ball kicks to Mark. Back to Ball. And Ball slams it in. Wow, LaMelo is always a tough matchup, but tonight almost impossible. Young against Ball from the arc. And Trey Young hits from deep. Young's got 18 points. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Back to ball. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Pass to Hunter. 23 seconds left in the first half of the game. Young for three. Miller grabs the miss. Miller's got four rebounds now tonight. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. Young outside. Here's Capella. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Atlanta. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. With Coach Quinn Snyder, Quinn, what has to happen in the second half? Well, we got to keep getting stops and really just make plays. Make plays on the offensive end and, and be solid defensively. No, no magic. Pretty simple game, right, Coach? Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Hey, folks. Thanks for joining us. It would be an... It's one-sided on the scoreboard. Also in the rebounding column. They're hammering on these guys. This is how you blow a team out. Yep, secure those boards, good things happen. Scientifically proven. And now we get to check out the top performers from their respective teams in that first half. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Man, we're seeing a tremendous game from LaMelo Ball. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Setting the floor for the Hornets. 
Martin on the wing. He's joined there by Miller. Williams is out there with Miles Bridges. And it's Ball in at the point. You know, Greg, one thing you notice, and we were just talking about this with the Hornets in recent years, a lot of changing lineups. And you expect that with the team, with where they're at. They're looking for any advantage game to game and trying to build that identity as a franchise. Here's Williams. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Riza Shea. When you look at the game of Mark Williams, Doris, what impresses you the most? Well, probably his size and athleticism. That combination makes him an immediate fit. He understands which shots to take on the offensive end, seems to have a great feel for how to position himself on the defensive end and how to mix it up on the glass. Back to Young. In the corner, it's Capella. Capella sets a screen for Bogdanovich. From the top of the key, he buries it. Bogdanovich has got his second bucket tonight. Bogdanovich is a very consistent shooter from the field. He's got great mechanics and can just pepper you with shots. Left side, ball. Charlotte needs to get a shot. Williams, double team. That three off target had some space there after the little pump thing. Pass to Young. Takes it off the glass. Young's got four points this quarter. And this game belongs to Young right now, and he is simply making everything. Ball, the pass to Bridges. Back to Ball. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Pass to Capella. Out left to the wing. Here's Young. For the three. Offensive rebound. Williams with the block. And here we go with Miller running up the court. Shoots over Riza Shea. Miller, no luck. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Nailed from three-point land. His first triple in the second half. That makes three for the game. Young against Ball. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. It's stolen by Capella. The D feels like it's everywhere, and that pass should not have been made. Poked loose. Shots good from Young. Young's got nine points now in just the second half. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Bridges dishes the ball to end the cold streak, and Ball slams it in. There is just such enthusiasm, such a love for the game with LaMelo. Shot after shot going down. Here's Young. Plays it up off the glass. Young's got 29. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Pass to Martin. And here's Miller. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Now here is Martin. Six to shoot. There's Ball with the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Ball's got seven points for the quarter. Doris, I know the NBA is considering using technology to help officiate out of bounds and goaltend. Uh, do you have a problem with that? You know, Kev, at the end of the day, I think it is about getting the calls right. If there's a way to lift the load off these officials, even if it's around the margins, why not try it? And so it's Charles Lee calling timeout. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. So for the Hawks. DeAndre Hunter comes in for Reza Shea. And Dyson Daniels. Up. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 
Kevin, thank you. Trey, this is a young team. So what is the chemistry and connection that lets you play together so well? Uh, I mean, you, you're around us outside of the locker room. I mean, you can tell why we, why we support each other so well and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, it, you can tell the reason why we do that. And uh, I mean, I love this group. Well, congrats on the win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? All right, DA, thanks again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.